afternoon ladies and gents um, I did this one very quickly before on my way home this is Postman's Park and now we shall have a little view hopefully a better view than last time of the uh, Everyday Hero Memorial sorry I was just reading that this public open space is maintained by the Corporation of London Ah. It's a lovely little park, tucked away. When you walk past it, <clears throat> at first, you wouldn't, as I didn't really, notice it. Around here, there's something rather interesting, very interesting, but not stupid. G.F. Watts Memorial to heroic self-sacrifice unveiled in 1900 the memorial to heroic self-sacrifice was conceived and undertaken by the Victorian artist George Frederick Watts OMRA 1817 to 1904 uh, it contains plaques to those who have heroically lost their lives trying to save another. What's believed that these everyday heroes provided models of exemplary behaviour and character. The material prosperity of a nation is not abiding. Sorry, the material prosperity of a nation is not an abiding possession. The deeds of its people are GF Watts. Greater love hath no man than this that lay down his life for his friend. John, chapter 15, verse 13. <clears throat> Watts Gallery, Compton, Surrey. Learn more about Watts Memorial. Alright. Last time I couldn't really have a a proper look because there was some homeless people sleeping here so I didn't really want to disturb them. It's not nice to show people when they're down on the luck anyway is it? Alfred Smith police constable killed in an air raid while saving the lives of women and girls June 13th 1970. Just pause and read for any of the uh, descriptions, as I always say. Thank <laughs> you. 
in memory of George Frederick Watts. Designed this. There he is. <laughs> I'm going to try it. <laughs> Ah, this is the one I was looking for, George Lee. I've got ancestors called Lee, so that was the main one I was looking for. Mm -hmm. In commemoration of the right self sacrifice, eighteen ninety nine. There's a load of gravestones over in the corner there as well, because this is a churchyard for this church. This one? Oh, that's excellent. We're under 10 minutes. That's excellent. It's very nice here, such pretty. <coughs> Sorry, I couldn't show you the uh, end panel, guys and girls. That will be for another time. There was a couple of lads skinning it up, or rolling a joint, whichever way you prefer to put it. Guild and Wall Church of St. Butthole with our oldest game. And this round there just takes you onto the main road where you will get to the Museum of London, which is one I'll be doing soon. Mr. Francis Henry Groom. Mr. James Stockney, I'm terrible for reading old tombstones. Anyone that knows me knows I find old churchyards interesting. Yeah, but this is the uh, church. Now the people have gone, we should have a look at the sign. It's really nice here. You've got a spot of lunch to eat, it's always a nice spot. Our church building is stood here for nearly 1,000 years. The present building dates back to 1788 to 91. More important than the age or beauty of the building, however, is that Jesus Christ and the message of his death and resurrection is proclaimed here throughout the week. To find out more, why not come along to one of our midweek lunchtime services? Details opposite or contact Robert Rose New Out. Oh, and this is uh, this park is an open air place of worship as well, so they have services out in the open air and under this mound is buried plague or are buried plague dead lots and lots and lots of plague dead so yeah let's try and get out of this sun god fucking hell that's better can out and the burn my retinas out yeah that's the uh, to heroic self-sacrifice 
as all the gravestones over there. And let's give you around about a tour of the churchyard or public garden, Postman's Park. And it is called Postman's Park because I show you what's this? William Hendrick by the looks of it. Very, very worn away. Yeah. There we are. Postman's Park, ladies and gentle folks. Not too much back that way because there's a lot of people about. There we are. And uh, the laws have changed slightly recently about filming people without their consent, which I've never done anyway, so. Filmed people without their consent, or tried not to anyway, so. Right. Well, at least we managed to get the uh, memorial to heroic self sacrifice this time. That was an, uh, that's another thing ticked off my list. The uh, end panel we'll have to come and see another time. There's a few lads sitting up there rolling a joint. They weren't causing any harm or any problems, so uh, to each their own. No doubt people will moan about that, but there we are. This is London for you and the modern day world. The reason it is called Postman's Park is because we are literally right beside what was the old post office, GPO post office, whatever you call it. And the statue here of Roland Hill, who founded the Uniform Penny Postage in 1814. So yeah, there we are. Okay everyone, hope you all found that little snippet interesting. Take care, see you all soon.